Hello everyone, welcome to video lecture series of computer organization and architecture. Today's topic is floating point multiplication. In this video, I'll be telling you what is the algorithm, the flow chart for multiplying two floating point numbers. Let us begin. First, just to give you a review about the floating point numbers means these numbers has a decimal point. For example, you are representing 6.5, 3.14 means they are the floating point numbers. And IEEE 7.5 standard for floating point arithmetic was established in year 1985 and 1990 was the year from, with, from when it is the most commonly used representation. And a floating point number is being represented. There are basically three components, sine, mantis and the exponent. And normally it is being written as what? M into base raised to the power E. For example, you have written a number 0 0.123. So this is the mantis. And if you have written 10 raised to the power minus 4. So minus 4 is the exponent, which is E. And 10 is the base. So this is how you can represent it. Now we have to understand how to multiply two floating point numbers. So see, there is an important point when we are multiplying floating point numbers, then there is no requirement of alignment of mantissas and product can be formed just by multiplying two mantissas and adding the exponents, right? So just you can add the exponents and multiply the numbers. Now you must remember that no comparison of exponents or alignment of mantissa is here required and the multiplication of mantissas is performed in a similar way as we have done in the case of the fixed point number as done by double precision product. Double precision because it increases the accuracy. Right. So you must remember again let me give you one example. Suppose you have one number this its power is 10 raised to the power 4 and the another number is this and its power is 10 raised to the power 3. So what you are going to do? You are going to multiply these two mantissas and exponents will be added which is 4 plus 3 that is 7. So in a similar way you can write it. Now let us understand the flow chart. This is the flow chart for the multiplication. See here multiplicand is in the BR, multiplier is in the QR. So it means what is going to happen if BR is 0, definitely the result will be 0. Result is stored into the accumulator. If BR is non-zero or QR is 0, result will always be 0. If both the numbers are 0, result will be 0. It means you can see if BR is 0, QR is 0, BR non-zero, QR 0, result will be 0 and which is stored in the accumulator and that will be the end of the program. It means for multiplication both the numbers which is stored in BR that must be non-zero. The another number which is stored in QR which is the multiplier that must also be non-zero. Both the numbers must be non-zero. And here in the case of the registers uh, like configuration you have understand that there are two parts. One is the capital portion capital letter uppercase letter b and small b small b represents the exponent and this represents the mantissa so here exponent which is available in q and the exponent which is available in q that is being transferred into a right and now the exponent of b is added into the a and the result is already stored in a it means first you have added the exponent Right. So see the first step check for zeros which you have done over here. You have checked it. Second is adding the exponent. You must remember suppose this number is available in BR and the another number this is available in QR. So what you are uh, doing? The exponent which is available in Q this is what? 10 raised to the power 3. Right. So this exponent is transferred into A. Then exponent of b is being added over here and result will be stored in the a. Now here you can identify a minus bias is being done. Bias, what is bias? When you have converted a given number into a floating point number means IEEE standard, then you have added a bias. 
For single precision, the bias is being added 123. For double precision, 1023. For single precision, 127. And for double precision, 1023. So a bias is being added. It means when you are multiplying, so bias will be of 2 times. That is why 1 times the bias will be subtracted. Then second step completed. Then multiply the mentesas. This is the third step. When you have multipl multiplied the mentesas, now you have to check for the result. For example, after multiplication of two numbers, you are getting the result which is 0 0.011 into 10 raised to the power 3. So here this bit which is the MSB, this is 0, it must be non-zero. This is bit A1. Means you have to check for this bit. If this is 0, you have to perform shift left operation. So when you are performing shift left, what you are getting? This will be 0 0.110 into 10 raised to the power 2. This will be the final answer and that will be the end of the program. If the bit A1 you are getting 1, that will be the end of the program. So this is how multiplication of two floating point numbers can be performed. So what are the four steps? First you have to check for zeros, then add the exponents, multiply the mentesas and normalize the result. Normalizing result is very important. Means you have to check for overflow carry or underflow condition. Thank you so much for watching this video.